Welcome back, everybody. Today I'm going to be making one of my family's favorite holiday treats, bunuelos. And here's how I do it. Okay, so first I'm going to make a tea. Here I have a cup and a half of water. I've added it to a small pot and I'm going to turn on the heat and add one teaspoon of whole anise seeds. And I'm also going to add one cinnamon stick. I'm going to bring the water up to a boil and let it boil for about two to three minutes. Then I'm going to shut off the heat and allow it to steep for about 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, so after it has steeped, I'm going to basically strain out the seeds and the cinnamon stick and whatever I'm left with is going to be the liquid I use for my dough. And you should end up with right at a cup of liquid. And this is going to add great flavor to the dough for these bunuelos. So for my dough, I'm going to be using around three loosely packed cups of flour. I like to weigh my flour to get a more accurate dough. I'll put those ingredients and measurements in the description below this video. I'm also adding one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of baking powder, and I'm also going to be using shortening. If you do not like shortening, use lard. You could also use oil. It's definitely up to you, but I'm using this combination of coconut oil that's an organic shortening. I had it to use, so I'm going to use it today. So I'm going to just combine my shortening with the flour. And after I've combined it, I'm going to add my cup of tea. You could definitely use hot water in place of the tea if you don't have anise seed or a cinnamon stick, but if you do have it, I suggest using it. It really does add a wonderful aromatic flavor to the dough. So I'm going to combine the dough and once it comes together and I've scraped all the excess flour from the sides of the bowl, I'm going to place it on my work surface and I'm going to knead it for about 10 minutes. I'd like to mention, if you find that your dough is too wet to work or knead, you can add a tablespoon of flour at a time until it becomes workable. And if you find that it's too dry, add a little bit more liquid. Okay, so my dough has come together quite nicely. I'm going to separate it into about 12 to 14 dough balls and place them right back into the bowl. I'm going to cover it with a damp cloth and I'm just going to let the dough rest for about 15 minutes. So while the dough balls are resting, I'm going to go over the other ingredients. So here I have a pan that I'll be using with fry oil. I filled it up to around a half inch of oil. I'm also going to be using two cups of sugar and to the sugar, I will be adding one tablespoon of ground cinnamon and I will combine this. This is going to be my sugar cinnamon dredge. Now, the one thing I do differently than my mom and grandmother is I like to add a pinch of salt. Actually, it's a little more than a pinch. I like to add a quarter teaspoon of fine salt. Now, if you don't want to add the salt to this because you find it odd, you don't have to. The sugar and cinnamon are pretty traditional, but I think the addition of the salt balances the flavor and it almost gives it a buttery finish, if that makes any sense, but it's optional. So I'm just going to combine that well. Okay, so now I'm ready to roll out the dough. So the first one, I started to roll it out without using flour. And actually the dough doesn't stick as bad without using extra flour, but really what I wanted to try was stretching out the dough with my hand. My mom told me a story that when she was growing up, they would make these really large bunuelos, but what they would do is add a cloth over their knee and her aunties would have them stretch the dough out by hand. And this is how they did it. So I tried it, but you know what? I just went back to my usual way and just dusted my work surface with flour and rolled it out into the best circular shape I can get them. So use the method that you like, but I just wanted to try hand pulling it first. So I rolled out two and I want to go ahead and start frying these in batches. I'm doing this by myself, but growing up we did it as a team, an assembly line. So I added my wooden spoon to the oil. It started to bubble around the edge, so it's ready. Your fry temperature should be around 350 degrees Fahrenheit if you take the temperature. So I'm going to fry these until golden brown on each side.
So after about a minute or so, my buñuelo is fried well. It is golden brown. So some of those air pockets collect some of the fry oil so you want to make sure you get that out as best as possible and then I'm going to place it right on my baking sheet with a rack on it and that'll allow any residual oil to drain out. Now I'm going to dredge my fried buñuelo with the cinnamon sugar dredge and then I'll place it right into that baking casserole dish and I'll just continue and repeat the step until I've done all of them and it is a wonderful way to get the family together to help you out so that's exactly what I'm going to do to finish these but this is definitely something that reminds me of the holidays and it I really can eat this year round to be quite honest but they are oh so sweet delicious and crispy So I hope you guys give this recipe a try. I hope you like it and thanks for watching.